What's good, what's good? Welcome back to Investment and Trade with Jax. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna go over our friend Matic. We started to break down. Um, currently we're sitting at 79 cents, down about 3% on the day. We're seeing a market cap of 6.87 billion. 24 hour volume, 206 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Bybit, up to 30K in bonuses or BitGit. Um, they recently partnered with Lionel Messi. These are the two exchanges I like to trade on. You can grab your bonuses, sign up to either or, email me or sign up email. Free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members. So let's hop into the charts. So our previous bullish wave count, which I'll show quickly in the Discord here, um, now we're pushing up in a one, two, three, four, five. Obviously that got invalidated as we saw a pretty swift drop. So there's a couple scenarios that remain. Um, we have one bullish scenario that we're still looking to push up in that wave C. And this is a leading diagonal wave one. So what you'd be looking at if I grab my brush here is this is a wave one, this is a wave two pullback. And then you'd push up in a three, four, five to complete the C to complete the two. We have bounced off to 0.786, which is normal for a wave two pullback. But if we do break that previous low at 0.768, then um, it invalidates that. And what I'd be looking at is you're gonna see continuation to the downside. Because what we're looking at is we, let me drop it in so you guys can see it better. We'll drop in the waves. We're coming down in a wave one, pulling back in a wave two before seeing continuation to the downside. Um, but we have met the minimum target. If you take a fib from the start of that first wave to the bottom, hey, oh, almost very, very close to the 382, 38.2% fib level. Um, which is the minimum target for a wave two pullback. So technically we can break down from here. Luckily, I alerted the Discord that I was moving my stop loss to break even on the Matic trade as BTC had invalidated our one, two, one, two setup. So we broke even on that trade, so no harm done. Um, but what I'd be looking at here is a continuation to the downside if we do come down and break that low of about 0.769. As you can see, we have this large head and shoulders pattern. We've now broken down, retested, and see, seen a rejection. And uh, that's usually a strong sign of continuation if you're a pattern trader. And that will take you all the way down to 47 cents, uh, which is our target zone here. Let me pull this out a little bit. Let me just zoom out so you guys can see it better. So what I'm looking at is you're coming down in a wave C to take you down to the 40 to about 60 cent range more likely 40 to 50 in my opinion so that head and shoulders will take you down to that same target now looking at the price of ethereum uh the only bullish count that remains in my opinion you, you push up in a wave one you're going through a wxy correction which consists of abc's and um you put in your wave two and you're looking to push up but the invalidation point is 1183 so if that low is broken it invalidates that and what I'd be looking at is you're just gonna start to see continuation to the downside because what we're looking at for Ethereum is an ending diagonal. If we zoom out, we've come down in wave one, this is a wave two pullback, ABC into a wave three, this is a wave four looking to come down in a wave five. Now the two scenarios that we've been covering here is that either this is a wave one, you're pulling back into two, you see a three, four, five to complete a wave A because ending diagonal waves consists of ABCs, you would push up in a three way move in a B and see that final wave C in a five way move to break that previous low and potentially bottom around seven to 800. Or the other scenario, which I think is less likely, is that we came down in a five-wave move. So we've already completed the wave A. Just completely ignore this one. Let me scribble it out here. And you've pushed up in a wave B right here. And now you're going to come down in a five-wave move in a C. It's possible, we, but we need to break that low. The wave five needs to break that low. So I think the first scenario is more likely, in my opinion. All right, gang? So hopefully all of that makes sense. Um, the only bullish count, I'll go over it one more time, in my opinion, is that we WX wide into a wave two pullback and uh, you're still looking to push up in that wave three, which is here in orange. And if we break 1183, that's the invalidation point. I would look for a continuation to the downside and for the price of Matic, we'll zoom into the one hour time frame. Potential leading diagonal into a wave one and then pull back in a wave two and still three if see a three four five into a wave two But if we do break down and invalidate that all we have to do is come down and break uh, this low At about yeah 0 0.076. Let's drop in a line quickly and we'll write invalidation 0.769 is broken and validates the possibility of a leading diagonal and that's when you see continuation to the downside 
And uh, we have a break and retest of this head and shoulders. So that may be now the more likely scenario unless we can come up and break that neckline. But a perfect clean break and retest in my opinion. I mean, this neckline, it's a bit tough with these wicks. It could be pulled down a little bit here and say, oh, the neckline hasn't broke yet. So just take it with a grain of salt. I'm not much of a pattern straighter. I just more use them as confluence. All right, gang, uh, sign up to either Bitget or Bybit and um, email me your sign up email, free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. At the 10 USD membership, early access to my analysis signals. Um, you can see what I'm doing with my auto all plays as well for 10 USD per month. Sign up through the Patreon link and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.